There's a coon sprayer. Some flowers coming into the field here. It's all go on! There's a wee party of cows following me this morning. Good morning, Holly. There we are, we can we? What a be? That's all already done. Ah, you bad this. Yeah, we're stuck. Lovely wee calf just born here. Tagging him up. Hurry up, actually. We're just aiming in between the two lines of cartilage. There you go. That's you, pal. There you go. Just get this side of its navel. There we go. Smashing. A nice wee Charlie calf. Right, good morning. We're throwing sunflowers today. Kev's yeah, just away to take the spreader off, put the drill on. I'm going to put the discs on to track that it's sitting in there. You can't really see it. First of all, I need to feed some Highlanders. There you go, wire in. There's a lorry just arrived for a load of boats, so I'm just waiting to load that up. Job done, we would have got that in a lorry, but we need uh, a wee bit left for the calves when we're feeding them the oats, so we didn't fill it all up. Lights off. There we go, one full lorry of oats. I think he ended up with 26 ton ish. You coming with me, Doug? There's a coon sprayer. Aggregar wanting me to have a wee look at it. I believe that one on the forecourt there is actually sold. Need to shift two parts of plasterboard into the extension to the back of the shop. There we go, these two boxes. Here's the first one, just going to do it exactly the same as I did the last time with the wee forklift at that end, the wee pallet forks at that end. Take the JCB away and slide it in. Job done. I'll get the discs on now. There's a bit of the chokes that are sticking out and I'm still not decided whether they're getting dissed or not. Don't even need to get out of the cab today. Get the stone grape on. Discs are just over the top of that container. We already just arrived for some straw. Dad's just going to load them up there. Kev's just coming back. He was out sowing a margin of a field with grass. Um, and now he's going to drill some sunflowers after I've dissed the ground. So the seeds and the slug pellets, we need to mix them all together. Chuck them in the hopper. Right, we're good to go. Blow the straw. I'm just gonna go and grab the slug pellets and the seed and um, we'll mix them all together. Just getting calibrated for this because there's slug pellets and seeds all through it. Two different varieties of seeds. We've chucked in a small amount of a new variety just to see if we can get a change in flowering period. We've just put a wee bit in just to test whether we can get a variation in flowering period, basically to test for next year's sunflowers and um, to extend the period of flowering so we can be open for longer. There we go, it's coming out. So you run some through, test the weight of this and make sure it matches up to what it should be coming out. So that's one variety, black, and then a stripy variety as well. The black ones have more oil content than the stripy ones. There's only 5 kilo of them and there's 30 kilo of the black ones. Right, calibrated, machine's ready to go. I'm going to go and disc the ground in front of Kev. And then we're off, we're off to the races. Took a wee bit of fiddling about to get a calibration right just because there's 30 kilo of slug pellets in there as well. Anyway, all done. I think they're meant to be on that side of the fence. Actually no, they're meant to be all the way over there. Right, we're moving now. Dad's just grabbed a few bits and bobs. Um, basically, we're not so in that corner. You'll see why in a few weeks time. Kev's probably just going to go around the boundary and mark out the field. But it's changed from last year, the shape of it. You can see the fur flying, all the wee bits that look like snow or hail. So this will be working them into the ground a wee bit as well, um, so they'll move into the root systems quicker. You can see there's still moisture kicking about, we'll make sure and roll these fairly swift. I've also picked up loads of stones already and we've only done from that fence line to just here. I'm not sure whether the, because the sunflowers, they've got a really big root system, whether they've dislodged quite a lot of stones that were laying down below, dislodged the soil round about and they've managed to move themselves up. And, to the surface. Look at that for a pile of stones in that fence to here. Unbelievable. Some big ones in there too. 
we did get this drained actually two years ago so there'll be stones coming from that there's one here as well before kev runs over it there we go should be sunflowers and slug pellets in there now that's the theory anyway not much of a view that so much do i fine looking that way wind's going that way a wee bit we're in tandem i'm going a fraction faster than kev but those discs on the front are quite annoying because the scrapers on them, they scrape off all the soil but they, they jam up with wee stones all the time. Really annoying. So quite often Kev's jumping out and getting a screwdriver and trying to knock out these stones. Shifted to this side of the field now because there's a bit of an open fur in there on the end of the tulips and a few bits of rough bits so Dad's going to come out and grub them just so we keep moving. Kev's just shifted over here as well. That's the oaks next door. There you go. Kev must have a stone in his discs again. This field's got quite a lot of wee stones in it, so it's not good. Here he comes. We got tulips of the view over there. We got some dead straight lines of barley over there. Some flowers coming into the field here. So go on, there's a bumpy spot. There we go, it's a good lot leveler now to drive across. The discs don't really fill in any holes um, or get any shallow bits and steep bits. You need the grubber for that. This just deal with the top couple of inches really. Traffic jam, I've just come from between those two. Brother. That image looks like the farmer's gone do lally. There's a chunk of tulips in the middle there, there's a few streaks up the middle, there's this bit's in grubbed and disked, and there's a drill going sideways, and there's pigeons and crows, and there's tracks in the field. And give it a second and we'll roll it and it'll look top notch. Last week's trip up here, Kev's there and he's got to go up to that lighter soil and then along that hedge line on the entrex to do. Done. Dad's going to roll it before I spray it. The rollers are still broken in that field, but luckily that gap in the hedge can nip through there. And then we'll abandon them in another field until we get around to sorting them. Done, heading in. Dad's talking to a hardbro man about a change of hen diet at the moment, and then he's going to jump in the rollers, roll that field, and then I can get in behind and spray it. Sprayer's along at yard number two. I should have brought it home yesterday. Ah, bit annoying, but anyway, he's going to get it. Then we'll go and spray the sunflowers. Hopefully by the time I get back, Dad's gone and rolled them. That's that done. Kev's just coming in just now. Ah, it'll be about that, about 10 kilo there. Roughly correct enough. Matt Yard 2, here's where I showed you the fences yesterday, um, saying they still had some top wires to do and whatnot, and I wasn't sure whether they'd forgotten or they were still to come back, um, but they hadn't forgotten, they were here first thing this morning, so that's all done and dusted, those fences are done. I went and bought a electric fence thing for that today, so I need to hook that up and then it's ready for cows. Ah. There we go, Dad's managed to get the field rolled and get the rollers back to the yard without having to fold them up because they don't fold up anymore. Right, we're going to get this sprayed with a bit of pre-emergence um, up the top there, if you can see right there they're starting to put in potatoes up in that field so every year we let out some ground for potatoes some for carrots maybe, some for peas maybe this year we've got potatoes and carrots so we've just started planting the potatoes the carrots are already in, they went in last week just helps a bit with our own rotation as well potatoes and carrots pay relatively well as well per acre the downside to that is you kind of the field can be a bit of a mess when, when they're done with it depending on how they get the weather because these guys they've got serious acres of patties to cover so they come and they go and generally if the weather's bad it doesn't doesn't really stop them but that's part of it, it you have to accept that albeit it's a small field but disked drilled rolled sprayed all in a day not bad right that's us job done sunflowers in the ground hopefully gonna grow no bother
You can do all this, but 80% of it is on the weather. They are called sunflowers. That is what they desire. So if the sun shines and it's warm, they'll crack on like last year. But if it's wet and miserable, nah, they don't like it at all. Job done, day done, sunflowers done. We'll keep an eye on them over the next few weeks. See how they germinate, see how they come through. And then once they're through, they just need sunlight and warmth and just crack on. Crows are also a bit of a nightmare for them. Crows just nick them and then they're done. There's loads of crows in the field already. Ah, crows bandits. Give it all away and walk by my side.